Okay, welcome back. Let's have a look um, at our spreadsheet and see what we've been doing so far. Um, this, we were talking about a spreadsheet in a previous lesson um, about using it for encoding um, different character sets. Um, and the one we were looking at, we, we talked about ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And I put this little spreadsheet together. All we've got here um, on my top bit and my rows uh, three, I've just put some text in each one of these cells. So I put Tuesday space today. Um, the line be below it, what I've used is I've used the formula code and I've got a relative cell value of the, of the cell above. So in this case, I'm referencing T. And then if I was to change that to an S, we'd see it change, as we'd expect, one less than the T. Okay. And if you were looking close enough, you'd realize that not only did the number there change, um, but the binary string underneath changed as well. So our decimal to binary here, we've actually um, converted the number below into a binary string. Okay, and if we look at it again, I'll do that again. So if we change it to an S, because they're all linked up to each other, they all change. Okay. So we've taken our value, our one here, Tuesday space, Notice this one here, 32. 32 is the um, ASCII character for a space. Um, if I took the space out and I deleted it, I just get an error. But the fact is I put a space in and I hit enter, I get 32. So I've taken this binary string. All I'm doing on line eight is I'm actually showing the fact that that binary string could be converted back to a decimal using bin to dec. Okay, so it just converts this back what it previously was and then what I've done there is I've shown that using the char formula that will actually take that, uh, that decimal and it will tell you what the character value that would be so you can see on this line here we've got Tuesday space today as we did at the top just to prove that it works okay then what we've done is we've taken the number here and I've just added 10 to it because agreed what we've what we said was we were going to try and scramble it up and make it a bit more difficult for someone to understand so we've added 10 to it obviously we wouldn't tell anybody else apart from the person we're sending the uh, message to um, we've added 10 to it so 84 has become 94 etc all the way through and you can see that on the formula it just takes the, the cell reference equals c8 which was 85 and it added 10 to it so I've now got these these uh, string of values here converted those to a binary string to send a continuous string of data okay and what we're actually would get is we'd get 90 the 94 if they tried to uh, look at it these were the characters that they'd actually get if they took that and just tried to convert them back to characters obviously it makes no sense whatsoever um, but because they know that our 94 is 10 greater than it should be what they can do is they can take that and they can take the 10 off it. That's what they've done here. They take the 94, take the 10 off it, make it 84, and all the way through. Once they've got that value there, they can use that character formula to convert it back to the message. Okay, so we can see that on uh, line three and line 24, we've actually got the same message, and we've used a spreadsheet to do that. Okay, so quick run through again which uh, formulas we've used. Line three didn't actually have any formulas on it, just plain text. Uh, line four, we use code to find out actually uh, what the numerical value is of that on the keyboard. We've converted them using bin to dec, converted it to a binary. We then used, um, sorry, dec to bin converted to a binary. And then we've gone bin binary to decimal, got the number back. And we've used the char one to say what that representation would be on the keyboard here all we've done is we've added 10 to it we've then converted that 94 to a binary and all the way along by just taking that and just dragging it all the way along so it relatively translates all those numbers to show that it worked we just did a, a bin to deck like the one before to look at that 94 and then we converted it to the character code that 94 would actually represent on the keyboard. Okay, let's just tidy that up a bit by centering those 
Okay, and center in there, so we don't get confused. Okay, so we've got each one of these is a representation of what that would be on our keyboard. Okay, um, because that's what we've sent when it's arrived at the other end. Um, the 94, obviously, the person at the other end knew that we were we'd put 10 on it, so they'd taken 10 off our 94 to get 84. And then finally, what they've done is they've taken that and they've converted it back to a character code to get the same message that we had up the top line here. Okay, right, hopefully that helped um, helped follow on from what we did in our recent lesson. Um, if you've got any questions or you've got any comments, you can stick them in, in the comments below. If you've got any ideas or, or there's anything you're not sure you want me to do a video, put it in the comment, I'll do my best to get around them. If you want to get updates, um, hit the subscribe button and you'll get an update when any new videos are added. Okay, I hope that helped with the understanding of uh, the crack in the code and I'll put some more up soon.